Now it's time to move on to altering the table, this particular syntax. Now altering the table means that I'm making changes in the column. What kind of changes can I make in the columns? Imagine a table. I would like to add a column. I would like to delete a column. I would like to modify that particular column. For example, I want to mistakenly have put the, the data type of that column as varchar, whereas I had to go for character, right? All that kind of changes I probably would require basically to do. Now, in order to do that, we need to, uh, you know, uh, use this particular uh, syntax called as alter. So let's see how it is done. Let's see the syntax first, okay, as usual. So the syntax is we start with alter table. Right. Then we input the table name, the name of the table, which needs to be modified. Input the table name. And then if I want to add a column, I'll use a very simple syntax add. Right. This is the modification syntax. And then I add the column name and the data type of the column. For example, here I wanted the data type, for example, character of care 15. Right. So I'll input the column name and the data type. Let's take an example. Let's take an example of I want to alter this table employees. Right. And I want to add a column called as location. So I did this add location where care. So this is nothing my but my column name. And this is the data type of that particular column. 15 says that this is the limit of the character that I want to put in because I don't think any location will go beyond 15 in my company. This is an example of altering table. Now let's see how does it look like in my SQL. Let's move to my SQL. All right. So here we are. We are on SQL and let's say I use this particular uh, database, Akila, which is being provided to us. Now what we do is I want to use Sakila done. Interesting name for a database. Then I have uh, alter table and let me choose the table I want to alter. Let's say I want to alter this particular table actor. Right, so this is the table I want to alter and I want to add a particular column called as, in fact, why don't we, I'll just uh, complete the syntax over here, add a middle name and I want it to be a where care and let's say I want it to be not more than 20. I complete the syntax. Now, I would not want to run it right now just oh sorry i closed this query right now it's fine right so i i'll just copy this okay i'll just control x reason being i want to show you guys the entire table so let's start from actor right so this is one way you can actually study the table right so actor first name last name last update is this is what the database is all about this is all the table all about right now I uh, ran that query. In fact, there's, there are other ways in which you can actually study a table. I'll take this opportunity to include that as well. For example, if I go for describe, if I go for describe and let's say actor, then I, this table gets described. What do you mean by this? I can see that there's a, which fields are there or the types. For example, I can see first name, last name are varkar 45, varkar 45 over here as well. Null key, no primary key which one is the primary key over here we'll move on to primary key soon over here extra auto increment all that kind of stuff whatever i want to see as far as what the columns are i can see it over here i can study the table right now as you can see there's nothing called as middle name over here now i run that particular query and say that i want to add a column name called as middle name and the varkar let's say i'll keep it 45 because i see that most of the varkar characters are 45 I'll make it varkar 45 and now once I run this query, describe actor, after running this query alter table, if I run this, I can see that there's something called as middle name coming up over here. It's where care. And I have allowed null values over here. Now, if I want to change it, I can just make it a constraint over here, which is not null. And if I run it again, and if I describe actor again, right, I think there is something that is of problem. Okay. So this is the description and okay what's the point of not running this okay i i cannot run it again on middle name i should have given the character before this as well but no worries i should have given the constraint while i was actually creating that now i need to delete that particular column name and do it again but let's avoid it for some other time right so it's a uh, fair enough it says that once i run the query again it is giving me a duplicate name middle name right so i think i'll avoid that and if i Keep on running it will keep on giving me that particular error right so i'll just look at describe error now uh, describe actor now i can see that there is something called as middle name with a varchar of 45 being added over here so this is how we can add columns along with the data type that we have 
All right. Now, uh, let's move to the next type. 